thousand came in. Oh. Whoa! Wow! Let's have a look at VRED 2018. Now I know that 2019 has some new options that should improve the performance with the RTX card, but I'm gonna go with the 2018 for right now. This is a three-wheel trike that I built for a startup a couple years ago. Uh, it's pretty dense, it has a full suspension set up in the rear, lots of geometry, lots of details. If we just take a look at the statistics, you know, wow, we're getting about 12, 14 frames per second in this view. Let's go ahead and just switch this up. This file has anti-aliasing set to ultra high. So this is really taxing the graphics card um, for anti-aliasing, where's where you'll, you'll see the biggest jump uh, for performance. Let's have a look at what this looks like on the RTX. to the RTX 4000 is a pretty big leap. Uh, two generations, I don't even know how many years I've had that M4000. It's been a long time. Typically I buy the latest entry level, sort of, quadro card when they come out. I prefer quadro cards for the type of work that I do inside a, of a surface modeling tool, especially at the professional level like Autodesk Alias, it requires quadro cards. Yeah, GeForce cards, you can get a lot more uh, specs for the cost. But at the end of the day, the Quadro works better in, Qua in CAD software when it comes to anti-aliasing and the wireframe draw. And those are, the, for me, the most important things. I work with huge CAD data sets. Data coming in from CATIA can be very dense, seriously dense, especially on the interiors. Now, there are other CAD applications that can run GeForce. You know, you got your SolidWorks or Rhino, they, I assume, I haven't used them, run really well in GeForce cards. They're more of a consumer level type of applications. Applications like Moto and Maya and Max and all these, and Blender and stuff, work awesome in GeForce. But when it comes down to Alias and, uh, and VRED, Quadro is definitely better. M4000, it looks like there's like, just from some specs of the M4000, 1,664 CUDA cores. What's important for my type of work or for automotive design in a lot of cases is the amount of memory. So 8 gigs is pretty fair amount of memory usage for the type of data sets that I have. Now the RTX 4000, this is quite a step up. We're talking about 2,034 CUDA cores, 36 ray tracing cores, 288 tensor cores. What? I'm not even sure what half this stuff would do or how it will affect the applications I use. I do know that programs like Autodesk VRED are going to start taking advantage of DL, uh, DLSS and machine learning anti-aliasing and I believe that's entirely based off the tensor cores and ray tracing cores. Hopefully more applications start to take advantage of those really soon, especially in the types of applications I use, um, you know, such as VRED and Alias would be very beneficial. But I also use Moto, and Moto tends to jump on any bandwagon with technology. Let's launch VRED and uh, check it out and see what we have. All right, so I have the graphics card set up on four monitors. Three of them go into the RTX, one of them go into the K2000 for my Wacom display for drawing. 
That's awesome. So let's, no, I just pushed, hit the Maya button. Okay, so I haven't uh, tumbled this yet, but the same VRED file is loaded on the RTX 4000. And wow, oh, there's a couple errors. Uh, let's go ahead and crank the settings, ultra high. Oh yeah, I can definitely tell this is higher performance and let's check out the statistics. All right, so I have the ultra settings, ultra anti-aliasing, ultra high anti-aliasing. Anti and you can see the M4000, I'm pretty sure on this level, it was getting what, 12 or something like that? Now, sometimes this does drop below to like three, 30 frames per second, but overall, yeah, look at that, into the 30s and 40s, but that's at least double what it was previously. Let's see if we can really get this. Looks like it's kind of pegged at 60, which is interesting. I thought uh, VRED was able to go higher. Maybe even 2019, we could get a little better quality, but yeah, this thing is it's pretty fast uh, compared to the M4000. So let's see what anti-aliasing does when you flip that on. So this is supposed to calculate progressively faster. Oh, it's doing a pretty good job on the highest settings to get there. I'm assuming the anti-aliasing, this particular one, is using the graphics card, but I'm not for sure. I do know on the M4000 it seemed a much slower than that. Look at, yeah, just cruising along to get to the highest quality settings for anti-aliasing. That's pretty awesome. Wow, wow, nice. That was great. So at least double the performance, which is huge for me. Uh, anytime I can get closer to the 60 frames per second inside of VRED, the better. This data set has a lot of geometry, full body, full interior, full rear suspension setup, chain link, uh, front brakes, rims, a lot of data is in this file and it handled it with ease. Sometimes pegging at 60 frames per second, but for the most part we saw it stay above 30 frames per second, which is definitely a double. So the upgrade was well worth it. I mean, it's an entry level card for a thousand dollars. That's kind of ridiculous, um, but at the same time, the performance benefits and just keeping things fluid when you're working. Not having the graphics card be a bottleneck for your software is so worth it. Because when you spend day in and day out clicking, going through these files, any little bit of hesitation, man, it's just no bueno. No bueno. Gotta have fluid software. Often when I'm working at the, OE, uh, the automotive companies, I mean their graphics systems or their workstations are primo. So for me to be able to afford that in my studio, I'll take the RTX 4000 anytime. Hey, thanks for joining me on this. I'm glad I got to share my upgrade of my workstation. You know, I'm building this, building this studio, this car design studio, essentially on a budget inside of New York, not the place to do car design. Hey, if you're looking for, if you're looking for any 3D services, I'm always available and always looking for new clients. If you have an exciting project that needs some 3D surfacing at a professional level, whether it's concept design or production, let me know and I can help you out. Peace. Thanks for joining. Later. <laughs> what the f*** am I doing? Let's see if we can get it in the light. Is it clickbait? Yeah, it's clickbait.